The Rock never stops on the Tri-State's Rock Station. 1037 NNJ. 1037 NNJ. Gary C. on a Sunday night with Mike Klaschuk, who is the CEO of the linchpin behind Metal Mike's Summer Camp. How you doing, Mike? Doing good, Gary. Thank you so much for having me. Hey, explain what this camp is all about. You've done this now, what, a couple summers in a row or more than that? Yeah, I mean, uh, this is um, this, this was our um, third year. Okay. Yeah, we just started off small and... Kept finding the Vikings, as I say. How long does the program last in the summertime? Uh, it's a week long. You know, it's one week, so um, almost a week. We uh, The kids show up on Monday, and then we f- uh, finish off on Friday with a grand finale and big concert in front of the family and friends. And how many kids partake in this? Well, we had anywhere between, you know, as little as 12 and as many as 18 kids. Wow. And then at the end, it's Metal Mike's Metal Heroes. You got a little band that you put together. Yes, now we're going to hear some songs tonight. What songs are we going to hear from these So kids? we're going to hear uh, three songs, um, a song called Big City Nights from Scorpions, which happens to be one of my favorite hard rock heavy metal bands of all time. Uh, then we're going to hear TNT from ACDC, and we are going to uh, also play Man of Wars, Kings of Metal. It's a very fitting song for the uh, for the metal heroes. <laughs> now, do you give lessons during a week? What else do, do the kid, do the kids swim? Is there what else? Do, what else goes on? <laughs> well, there is a swimming pool, okay. but as you know, metalheads like to wear a lot of black, and we don't <laughs> hang out in the sun too often. You know, they could go and and uh, and, and swim or uh, play tennis. Um, we actually have a uh, a two lane old school hundred year old bowling alley. There, where we'll play metal music and kids go bowling, arcades. Uh, but more importantly than that, in, in on the music sense, we have musicians of different locations and experience come in and do uh, clinics and workshops for the kids. What town do you do this? Uh, we do this in Big Indian, New York. Every evening, we'll go and have a big campfire, and I tell them road stories, and these kids light up, you know, because I I love doing this because. Um, you know, each one of those kids is ones and twos in their town and the schools, and they don't know others like them, maybe a serious. And when you put them together in the camp, you know, the whole thing just changes. They come out different kids. So, are you doing this again next summer? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we actually got a date, which is actually going to be August 14th uh, to the 18th, 2017. And what's the website you maintain all about this? Um, it's very simple it's metalheroesacademy.com. All right. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by tonight, Mike. We're going to hear these three songs. Do you want to mention any names of the kids? We got a lot of new names, but we have uh, quite a few a few kids from all over Jersey. We have Caitlin on drums from down the shore. We have we have Dennis Abadi. We have uh, Nick Nastico on drums. Vincent from Bayonne. We have uh, Stephen from down the shore. We have Jordan from North Jersey. We have quite a few. And, and this camp draws kids from all over the United States. You know, we have... Kids come in as far as Texas and Chicago, but for this particular thing that you guys were kind enough to host us at, this is this is all New Jersey kids. And who's the female singer in the second and third songs? Um, that was Sandra Josephs, and Sandra is actually uh, a, a vocalist who helps us out a little bit, uh, slightly on the teaching side, more in singing and. Sandra's got a cool band of her own called Orbi Not, so that's right. cool too. So here it is, Metal Mike's Metal Heroes at 103.7 NNJ on a Sunday night. Thanks, Mike. All right, thank you, Kevin. All right, brothers. Go for it. Back, they're by the same. If you 
was alright for a long sweet minute Like hours before But it's more like looking out for something
You're listening to Metal Mike and the young men and women of Metal Mike's Metal Heroes at 103.7 NNJ. The young women and men of Metal Mike's Metal Heroes, they performed recently in our performance studio here, the Franklin Sussex Auto Mall Performance Studio. If you'd like to learn more about Metal Mike's summer camp, he does it every summer. His website is MetalHeroesAcademy.com. I want to thank Gina Bate for being my executive producer again for Metal Mike's Metal Heroes. This is 1037 NNJ. Morgan is back after this.